Okay, we are looking at the importance of ICT education in our schools, especially at the basic levels. Um, there has been a report that uh, at least 30% of basic schools in Ghana don't have um, ICT labs or um, any computer facilities um, to study with. Um, it was amazing. They said at least. So what is the at most percentage? Because if at least 30%, then that means there's more than that that um, don't have more than that number um, or more than that percentage of, of schools in Ghana without ICT labs and or without um, computers. And then there was also some 10% um, ICT labs that were not functioning. By that they mean that, um, for example, there are some schools that have ICT labs, but either number one, the teacher is not um, available to teach, or um, there are no computers in the ICT lab. You get it? Or there are problems like power and all those um, uh, problems that prevent it for ICT lectures to go on or studies to go on. And I was, I was, I was amazed because if you have a lab for teaching um, ICT and you don't have um, computers in it, then uh, what is the use? You get it? Uh, why would something um, be present and yet uh, not be functioning? So, um, to me, I feel that is something we need to check because we are now making efforts to go into the next level of, um, you know, information and also communication and technology. So, just having the basic skills of using a laptop or a computer shouldn't, like, uh, be a... I think that is absent in the uh, lives or in the studies of our pupils in the basic schools. Now, I haven't you noticed that many of those students who come out uh, with the right knowledge on, on how to use a computer or, or on how to, you know, um, make certain, you know, processes or uh, use certain applications on the on the um, computers <coughs> are those that eventually by the time they reach the tertiary level are you know are doing things that are you know very um profitable you see we have to take our minds um on the fact that the presence of a computer it's not only good for you know being abreast with the current um, world in areas of technology but also in simplifying things for ourselves do you know what it would mean for uh, a child who um, plans on being a farmer and then um, has these skills on the computer and knows how to use you know these um, you know technology you are looking at someone who will be able to keep records you are looking at someone who will be able to you know diversify the different things that go on in his his farming activities so we are not saying the ICT you know learning or the presence of computers should be the only thing the students look at but they should look at it as something they have on the side to um, make that which they already are aiming for a better thing you get it some of you may not even see why a carpenter may need um, a computer that a child who is going to learn um, all these technical skills and wants to be a computer um, a carpenter could be a better carpenter with a computer and there are many ways uh, we could go into that to show you that um, he would be better off um, knowing these skills and using the, um, the laptop as as well as his you know carpentry job so we, we we feel like it is time for us to 
make the efforts on a on an individual level towards the uh, basic education of of our Ghanaian students now that being said if you are someone who knows of a school that has a computer lab without computers you can help by giving just one computer you don't have to necessarily have um, the income or the money or the resources you know to get 70 computers but even one computer is cool you can give that one computer to a teacher you get it who should um teach a student and have them um practicalize it on the you know on that one they will find a way to share you get it it's just the little steps we take individually or maybe you you, you could know a, a, a certain student of that school personally and instead of sending it to the school you could meet um, with the parents and give it to the the parents to um, hand over to the ward you know just to use um, and learn with um there are some things we have to make sure our our children you know um, don't miss especially when it comes to this computer um, stuff for example um, if you have a word who you plan on getting to uh, be very um, conversant with um, the computer you should get him to um, learn how to type you know I mean if his beacon up is free you can get it and then just let the child learn how to um, type that alone is one thing even if the child doesn't get any good job and he can be able to type on his own there could be a place where someone may need someone to you know do some typing maybe some photocopy area or something job when the child is away and out of school or you know during vacation you can use that time to you know learn on the job just by knowing how to type alone and then he's not only getting skills you know that are based on ICT but he's learning things like customer relation because he's, he's at a place where um, trade and services are, are taking place so just by learning how to type alone he entered um, a photocopying business you get it where he's an apprentice or he's just uh, helping someone or whatever and by that he's also learning how to interact with customers how to be patient how to say please thank you okay we are welcome those kind of things um, they all play a key part in you know in building the child we should not also only see um, the success of the child as based in a classroom only the classroom is a good place to start the classroom is a, is, is, is a good place to start but what about what he can get outside of the classroom you get it there are some um, students you know it's not everyone whose parents are uh, extremely rich to take them on um, some um, Dubai trip or the holidays there are some, some students when it's holidays it's time for you to go and work on the farm or do some work that will bring you some food to eat you can't go and tell your father to take you to Dubai do which can't buy yeah he has he himself reached Dubai that he'll take you there you get it so during that time once you're doing whatever activity it is that it is will bring you money um, the ICT um, learning could also come in play and um, that's what uh, we are pushing for and then of course also you, when you get to the office or the place of occupation you are planning to you know delve into let's say after the basic education the secondary and the tertiary the knowledge that you've already garnered on the computer will come in handy that way you don't have to write it on your CV just you know how to do one or two things alone could come in handy maybe your boss doesn't know how to put certain things or maybe you don't even have a boss who's learned by a, a, a boss who's rich and owns a, a certain you know firm or company or business and yet um, it's an illiterate you get it oh yeah there's some rich people who didn't go to school but they know how to make money so you could be under such a person and then just by your knowledge and skill of the of the computer alone these ICT skills could help you to be at a very close place to, with that um, boss who could promote you, give you all that you need and more and many more things could come out of it. So um, that is it. Uh, viewers, let's see more of the importance of giving our basic students, you know, um, ICT learning. And um, please um, drop them in the comments below and um, let's see your views. Thank you very much for listening and have a very nice day.